Hey gang and welcome to another new Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel. As you know, the 2.0 update introduced a ton of brand new items, but a lot of these are actually DIY recipes that you have to craft for yourself, meaning you can't find them at places like Nook's Cranny. There are over 250 new DIY recipes containing some of the absolute coolest new items in the game that you'll want to get your hands on. It won't be as simple as just picking up a DIY recipe and learning these either, they'll learn in many different unique ways. You'll also need lots of unique materials to craft them too. So in this video we'll be taking a look at every new DIY recipe in the 2.0 update, how you can get new DIY recipes for yourself and more details that you need to know. So let's jump into this. Before we continue the video I just want to quickly mention that I do have brand new merch. This was designed by the amazing Pitfall Seeds over on Instagram. If you'd like to get some for yourself and support the channel in style, then check out the link which is down in the description. As I'm sure you can imagine, many of the new recipes are actually cooking recipes and there are so many unique and cool ones that you'll definitely want to get your hands on. Of course, you can eat these and gift them to your villagers as well, but one really cool thing is that you can display all of them as items too, which means they're incredibly useful in lots of different ways. When it comes to crafting these, you're going to need a ton of different ingredients. This includes all of the new crops, lots of different types of fruits, fish, and much more that you might not expect. Some of the ingredients are also seasonal as well, so you may want to visit some of those Kappen Islands to get some ingredients like mushrooms and such. But how exactly do you learn these new cooking recipes? Well, you can find them simply in recipe bottles, which is nice and easy. This is probably one of the easier ways of getting them. You can also find your villagers cooking now, which is really cool, and they'll give you some of the new recipes as well. Some of these also appear to be learned at certain times of the year. For example, the spooky cookies are only learned in October, so that means that you'll have to wait a while if you want to get them in the game. Some recipes are also learnt via fishing. When you catch a certain fish, you may learn a recipe that the fish is associated with. This means that you're going to need to go out there and start fishing again, even if you've completed your Critopedia and that museum, because if you don't, you won't be able to unlock all of these recipes. Of course, other players can share them with you, but since some of these actually aren't recipes you can collect in terms of the physical item, that means you won't be able to trade them and you will need to find them for yourself. Still, cooking is an amazing new feature and it's definitely worth going out there and getting many of these new recipes. It's also worth noting that though you can't craft them, a lot of the old food items have now been turned into edible food as well, so that's definitely really cool. Now we're on to some of the normal furniture in the game and this includes all different types such as normal furniture you can display, rugs, things you can hang from the ceiling and so much more. Once again, you will need a lot of different materials to craft these new items. For example, many of these are actually vine and moss items that you'll need to get the new glowing moss and vines for, so you may want to take another trip to a Kappen Island. You can also get a lot of this from the DLC Island as well. Speaking of the DLC Island, it actually seems like a lot of these recipes are only learned in the Happy Home Paradise DLC. For example, things like the brand new pillars and the counters as well seem to only be available via the Happy Home Paradise DLC, and you can't trade these either as they're learned as a part of the storyline. I've also discovered many bottles on the Happy Home Paradise Beach which included the new ruins and vines and glowing moss recipes, and I've not seen these anywhere on my own island, though I can't confirm for sure if they are locked to the Happy Home Paradise. If they are, then you certainly could trade these ones because I've found duplicates of them already, and now a really great thing is that you can actually display recipes in your home storage, which is so amazing because if you get these duplicates, now you can save them for your friends, and that is honestly fantastic. You definitely may want to do that if you have the DLC, as there's a lot of people who don't have it yet or aren't planning to get it who may want to get their hands on some of these really cool recipes. There's no denying that some of these are absolutely some of the best items we've seen in the entire game. For example, the cave item is just one of my absolute favorites. I really, really love it, and I was super surprised to learn that it's not an item that you get from Nook's Cranny. It is instead one that you get via crafting, so keep an eye out for all those different recipes. You can, of course, find these in all the usual ways as well and you can get them from villages and bottles on your normal island. A few new types of clothes and different hats have been added in as well. These are all really cool. There's not a ton of these of course. There's never really been that many clothes that you can actually craft to begin with. Once again I've seen a few of these on the Happy Home Paradise Island and I'm not sure if the moss ones for example and the vine ones will be available on your normal islands but you definitely could trade with someone if that is not the case. There's also two new handheld items which is really interesting because 
Typically, we don't actually craft the handheld items, we receive them either from Red's Raffle or we get them as a part of Nook Shopping. But there's actually two new ones which are the Foxtail and also the Nice Stick as well. So definitely keep your eye out for these cute new items if you want something to hold. There are honestly so many handheld items in Animal Crossing New Horizons and these are brand new ones. Finally, we have some new recipes for tools, specifically four that you can craft, and of course you can customize the normal ladder as well. These are really cool new setup ladder kits, and I'm surprised to see such a nice variety of them. It means that if you've got a certain type of island, for example, maybe you've got a jungle island or a city island, you can kind of match the ladders to it without just having one basic design, which is really cool. I'm super happy that they added a new tool into this update. Of course, it is nice to get all the handheld items, but getting tools that actually have some kind of functional purpose is definitely really cool and something that I enjoy a lot. So make sure you get these recipes as soon as you can. The ladder setup kit, the normal one at least, is definitely something that you get from Nook's Cranny, so you won't struggle too much to get that one. I should also mention that Nook's Cranny does sell some cooking recipes as well to start you off, but a lot of them you are going to have to get in the ways that I mentioned earlier on in this video, which might be a little bit more tricky, but are definitely more fun in my opinion. This update definitely didn't disappoint when it comes to new things to craft. Of course, crafting is one of the major features in Animal Crossing New Horizons, yet we hadn't really seen any new recipes added for quite a long time. So the fact that they've added in so many new ones is honestly fantastic, and it makes me really happy. Although it is great to get items as they are from Nook's Cranny and the Happy Home Paradise Office and such, I really enjoy the fact that we can craft some of these because it means there's more to do in the game generally. It also means that you'll need to go out there and start looking for these again if you want to get all of these new items, which has honestly been a lot of fun. It's been super exciting finally having new stuff to learn in the game since I felt like I had basically learned everything at this point. If you find yourself struggling, then definitely just try and do a lot of your usual activities around your island and the Happy on Paradise Island, and you're sure to come across some new DIY recipes. They're not too tricky to find, but there are a lot of them as I mentioned, so you'll definitely want to get started if you're looking to craft many of these exciting new items. But which of these new recipes is your favourite, and have you found many new DIY recipes yet yourself? Leave a comment down below to let me know. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. And if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.